Here I wanted to briefly continue with UK Prime Ministers and discuss Gordon Brown. Ahead of the G7, he urged wealthier nations to do more to help vaccinate the world. We want to use again statement analysis and body language to see if he believes what he is saying or whether he really understands what he is saying. The nice thing with statements like his, and there are many now, is that everyone seems to position him or herself so later there is no confusion on what side one was on. So let's get started. Pretty clear that we need to vaccinate the world. We're not safe until everybody's safe. As I... So when he said no one is safe, then he was uh, dancing a little bit. He was moving almost in a rhythm that was an illustrator to, to exemplify activity and being energized. To vaccinate the world. We're not safe until everybody's safe, as I said. It was also an interesting statement. As I said, it's a statement of emphasis and repetition to drive home a message. Apparently, he said similar things before. So here he doesn't want to leave any confusion about on what side he's on. Uh, and it's an act of self-interest. It's not just an act of charity. He's... Because if the disease spread... So he was even smiling for emphasis that, that builds trust. And he's using his hands when he's speaking. These are illustrators. It all seems very genuine. He seems to believe what he's saying. There's no guilt or regret or fear. None of these guys seem to worry about being held accountable for what they are doing. It mutates and comes back into our country through India, Nepal or Africa, then we all suffer. So this is something that the world has got to do together. When it comes to vaccines and people realize the benefit for the whole world, but particularly also the benefit to Britain, people actually 79% uh, one. He raised his eyebrows for emphasis and then he smiled. These are very positive attributes. So the 79%, apparently 100 former world leaders called for the G7 to pay two thirds of the $66 billion to comprehensively vaccinate the whole world. And he probably refers to that one. Just to pay a fair share. So I think uh, you've got to look at these overseas aid cuts and think, if you're pulling away the vaccine or the injection needle, from children and adults who need vaccinated and putting their lives at risk, then that's not a good thing and there is not public support for that. So when he talks about aid cuts, so he's not talking about building schools or creating jobs. It's not about feeding the world, it's about vaccinating the world. Evil to him who evil thinks. And on Friday at the G7, we will decide effectively who lives and who dies. So this seems to be an unusual odd statement and a bit out of place. In statement analysis, this could be considered an involuntary embedded confession, that it is really about a certain type of reduction, if you know what I mean. So as a guilty person, you try so hard to avoid saying the wrong things. So that's always on your mind. And then it pops out at odd places. This is called also the pink elephant metaphor. However, here there are no clusters of behavior leaks. No guilt, no shame, no nervousness, no pacifiers to dissipate energy, no touching of the face or hair, no rubbing of the fingers and so on. Who is to be vaccinated and is therefore safe and who is not to be vaccinated and therefore is at risk. So now he's touching himself. However, here he tries to explain what he meant. And this could be considered a correction as he might have realized that he said too much. But I don't think that's the case. All flows too well. There are no pauses, no nervousness. He looks straight in the camera. It is like he's reading of a statement or something he memorized. Instead, to me, these statements are pledges of allegiance, proof of commitment to the new world order, the Great Reset, either to Klaus Schwab or Bill Gates or to a small circle of billionaires or to Satan himself. Thank you for listening and I'm looking forward to read your comments, what you think, and uh, talk to you next time. Bye.